today's episode, we're checking out the Umarex HK417. Now the 417 is the bigger, beefier brother of the 416. Everything about this rifle has been built oversized to accommodate the more powerful 7.62mm cartridge. This airsoft replica of the 417 is one of the latest releases from BSC. It's manufactured at full H&K trademarks through Umarex USA. Just like its real steel counterpart, this rifle bears many similarities to the 416, also made by BFC. For example, the 417 has the same ergonomic pistol grip and modernized crane stock as the 416. One thing that is different about this rifle is that the knock bolt carrier locks all the way to the rear when you pull back on the charging hand. But, as you can see, it does share BFC's new precision hop up chain. This rifle does come with front and rear iron sights. However, you can remove them if you want to install a low profile optic. Other features include an adjustable buttstock as well as an integrated rail system. And as always, this VFC rifle is constructed from a high quality blend of steel and aluminum to give it a realistic weight and balance. That just about covers the outsides of this rifle. Let's get it loaded up and hit the range. For today's shoot, we're using a 9.6 volt battery and Umarex Elite Force 0.28 gram bios. Install the battery in the 417, some tape butt pad, rotate one quarter turn counterclockwise, bolt straight off. Now, the buffer tube on the 417 is large enough to accommodate a LiPo battery. However, today we are using a 9.6 volt nunchuck. So what we're going to do is slide the battery into the cavity inside the stock, and plug in the connectors, and then tuck the wire into the buffer tube. Make sure it's out of the way so it doesn't get caught. And to install the butt pad, push it on, one turn clockwise, and you're all done. This rifle does come with a mid capacity magazine, so it does require speed loader. However, high capacity magazines are also available. All right, so we're out in the range where it's very hot. Well, let's see what kind of distance we can get out of this thing. 75. 100. 25. Well, at 50 yards, it's hitting like a ton of bricks. So let's see what kind of damage we can do up close. Well, that wraps up this episode, so until next time, I'm Rod Rambo, this is Range Day.